Good morning. It's Friday, March 24th, 2023. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Horse and Cart Issues, Part 1. And our scripture is Ezekiel, chapter 33, where the prophet writes that God said to him, Son of man, give your people this message. The righteous behavior of righteous people will not save them if they turn to sin nor will the wicked behavior of wicked people destroy them if they repent and turn from their sins. When I tell righteous people that they will live, but then they sin, expecting their past righteousness to save them, then none of their righteous acts will be remembered. I will destroy them for their sins. And suppose I tell some wicked people that they will surely die, but then they turn from their sins and do what is just and right. For instance, they might give back a debtor's security, return what they've stolen, and obey my life-giving laws, no longer doing what is evil. If they do this, then they will surely live and not die. None of their past sins will be brought up again, for they have done what is just and right, and they will surely live. Similar to the horse and cart, getting them in the right order is the chicken and egg matter, which came first. The horse and cart is a sight gag. You only have to look at it and you know, if you have a little horse sense, the horse and cart are out of order. It has no destination other than where they're currently standing. The chicken and egg conundrum can be much more of a brain scrambler. If the chicken is first, what egg did it come from? If the egg is first, what chicken laid it? It's a little like trying to imagine nothingness. If you let your brain think nothing exists, it means you no longer exists. But if that's so, space itself is something, even if nothing is in it, and on and on until you go mad. One other brain teaser. If God can do everything, can God make a rock bigger than he can lift? Sorry, I know that one hurts your brain when you spend more than a minute on the possibilities and implications of either a yes or no answer. So, what does this have to do with Ezekiel's message about righteous people who sin and sinners who repent? Well, everything that's holy. God gave this message to straighten out for our minds where the cart belongs and where the horse belongs when it comes to being right with him. It has to do with the chicken and egg or horse and cart and big rock questions. There's an extremely flawed train of thought in our world that takes a biblical image of God's judgment, such as the scale that God uses to measure our life. Now, that's a biblically accurate picture. God is a judge of kings and paupers alike. Daniel, interpreting the dream of King Belshazzar, told him, God said, you have been weighed on the balances or the scales and have not measured up. But sometimes we take pictures like that too far. The faulty thinking happens when people carry this to a conclusion that God never said. That faulty thinking is that God measures the good we've done against the bad we've done, and if the good outweighs the bad, we're okay for heaven. If it tips the scale the other way, we're toast, bound for the fires. Cutting to the chase here before my time runs out today, all this simply means is God expects us to fear or reverence him by our heart response and our daily living. We are not capable of doing enough good stuff to outweigh the smallest sin. That whole thing was settled on the cross by the blood of Jesus Christ. For you today, if those weighty philosophical and metaphysical chicken and egg, horse and cart riddles fascinate you, go ahead and work on some answers. Just make sure you get the horse of grace put in front of the cart of forgiveness and salvation. You could win a Pulitzer Prize for writing a definitive book proving nothingness exists, but it would not get you one millimeter closer to he who is life. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.